and Yuri. Yuri is having a bit of a tough time out there. Um, the people on Reddit have essentially decided that he is um, what you call it. He is the he is the sit. Yeah, he is the. He's the kind of whipping boy to Reddit for the most part, it feels like, Yuri, for whatever reason. I'm going to guess the reason why he's the whipping boy of the Reddit, um, No Jumper Reddit and the No Jumper V2 Reddit, is because he was one of the only people who didn't make any kind of move, who didn't really make any kind of statement and just essentially sat on the fence, Boogie 298 style, when it came to everybody leaving off the back of the whole beef between you know Adam 22 and AD. I think Yuri is one of the only people who didn't really choose a side in any way, shape or form. Yes, he is kind of you know linking up with Reconnected and stuff, but he did try and essentially keep himself somewhat out of it not get involved and then of course when you add the extra sprinkling of his girlfriend Riley getting fired I think some people myself included would have thought he would have stepped on just that kind of notion alone and kind of just went to back up his girl but I guess there's other things at play here who knows whatever it may be but regardless he's become the de facto whipping boy of both of those subreddits and for some reason he kind of makes it his thing to kind of keep fighting back and to kind of try and clap back but it doesn't necessarily work because fundamentally i think a lot of the criticism has been kind of you know centered in some level of truth even some of the you know dissing and insults and whatnot and teasing has been getting from people it is centered in some level of truth and i think it kind of for me started off primarily with this las vegas trip I think this Las Vegas trip they went on recently, I've got a picture here, um, courtesy of Harmonious Yuri's Instagram page that features him and Yuri, him and sorry, him and Riley on the way to fucking dinner out there in Las Vegas. And I think his treatment on stream of his girlfriend essentially confirmed a lot of people's suspicion on the Reddit of like who he is and how he is as a person, as a person, like his personality and whatnot. And it kind of made, made people think that he's a bit of a dork and a bit of a lame. And I think once that happens, it's very difficult to turn it around. Or if that is the case, you just kind of embrace it and lean into it. But for whatever reason, he's fighting against it when really there's too much evidence out there to confirm the fact that he may be a bit of a dork and he may be a bit of a lame, which isn't a bad thing. It just kind of is what it is. But just on this alone, just the optics of this picture, you can clearly see if you were kind of drawing the green lines, there's a lot of love there. They clearly got a lot of time for each other. They, it is what it is. But just in terms of the optics of being in flipping Las Vegas, going out there on, on some sort of like couple's trip with your friends also, I was just surprised that this kid didn't have one decent leather jacket or like a denim jacket, one decent pair of straight trousers and one decent pair of shoes that he just wears just when he wants to do, you know, date night shit just to kind of change up a little bit because you're in las vegas it's glitzy it's shiny everyone's got their best garms on and here you are going out on a date night specifically with your girl next to you on your arm dressed to the nice a green dress on bag heels on and whatnot and you're turning up in some cargos and a hoodie it's just like come on you come on geezer and then the streaming everyday thing as well that is very questionable you would imagine just on the date night you know dinner thing maybe put the camera down for one moment but you know you gotta fucking you know keep up streaming and get the shekels in how you can but that for me was the one thing i looked at thinking that's a little bit strange like, why are you flipping still doing this sort of shit why don't you put the camera down for a little bit why don't you i don't know change up your outfit just for one day just to kind of have a little bit of a good time with your girl or whatnot but hey everyone does what they does the thing that's really funny and really hip i'm really kind of i think um uh really doesn't make any sense and kind of he's kind of calling himself out in one way is this instagram story that he posted just recently where he took these pictures of people that i guess he deems to be incels um doing incel things and then he wrote on top of it these really be the dudes that be trying to give me life and relationship advice keep watching the content friends a lot more to come now the funny thing about this is that the people giving him advice i only give him advice because this guy if i'm not mistaken is close to 30 he acts like a 17 and an 18 year old, but he's actually like 28, 29 or something. So he's a grown up. And you would imagine at some stage, getting on live stream and begging for tips and donations probably isn't a great way to kind of live your kind of life and especially long term in terms of you having some level of security. 
but the idea of him getting a part-time job and supporting a streaming career doesn't really seem like a viable option he kind of looks down on it he kind of thinks he's above it but then he's also willing to kind of you know essentially go on a couple's trip and maybe potentially damage the relationship just for having the stream on the entire flipping time because he needs it because you know that's his only kind of form of income I just find that really, really funny because, and then the other thing on top of that, to add a lay, a little patina on top of this, right, is that he describes people as incels who are currently giving him advice or trying to get into his ear about how he's acting. But then he revealed without any encouragement that Riley's his first girlfriend ever. So his first girlfriend ever has been Riley, which he kind of hit at the park, well done to him. But it also is a clear example that if she wasn't around, he would be the insult that he describes here. Because before that, he says he hadn't had any relationships with a woman. That doesn't mean he's a virgin before her. He could have been with somebody. But the fact that he acts the way he, he does with Riley kind of speaks volumes to his kind of lack of experience with women overall, which is completely fine. My if issue and my if, my, or oh, not issue, but something that I'm kind of curious about, I wonder, if you are somebody like Yuri, who's a you know quintessential dork and a bit of a lame which is not a bad thing it is what it is we have position in life we have to play why would you care what other people have to say about your relationship and how you treat your woman if she's with you and she's perfectly happy why would it matter why would you go out of your way to treat keep you know clapping back responding clarifying whatever it may be when the truth of the matter is this lady has decided to be with you and still be with you because she's into you like why would it actually matter it really is strange for me i don't understand this especially if you're somebody that you would deem to be a dog or a lame you kind of you know maybe hit out of park you got lucky you should be thanking your lucky stars and just focusing on making that person happy you shouldn't be caring what some random people on the internet are saying about you in general but i think sometimes him responding is a real clear mark of his insecurities and obviously maybe some of the responses from people strangers online it has some truth to it which is undeniable and that's why maybe he's reacting the way he's reacting who really knows regardless i'd much prefer it if the dude just relax chill out enjoy your time do your thing grow how you want to grow but don't be kept don't keep responding to people online like this because if anything i feel like now especially the guys on the reddit have realized and recognized that riley's a bit of a soft spot and the way he acts about the way he treats her is a bit of a soft spot or a sore one he gets really defensive about it and they're just going to keep poking and prodding and then the fact that you know they're in a not so stable financial position based on what they said people are going to keep poking and prodding sooner rather than later you know the lady you know she's a young lady she might get ideas of her own to do other things and then suddenly riffs kind of get involved and this is the same thing that happened with the guys that know jumper they allowed the reddit to just dictate their lives and kind of you know those guys played them like fiddles they were proking and prodding and eventually you know they made the whole flipping house tumble so it was like a double-edged sword they had the ability to interact with the fans but they also let them have too much say so into what they did how they reacted and what they said and whatnot and i don't think that's a way to go about things but again what do i know i'm just a random person on the internet i have no extra news or information on this so i'll just kind of you know leave it leave it where it may be leave it where it may be